Yo, it's your boy, Willie Ways, and you are watching episode two of Culture Questions. Let's go. That shit's sad, man. That shit, that shit break my heart, bro. But it's like, you expect it at this point. If you, if you from America, man, you, you a black man, you a black woman, you already know how they looking at us, man. Even when the shit is clear as day, it's just a total lack of respect, man, and consideration. I can only hope so, man, because I know it really, this case had an opportunity to really, really wake people up and really make a change. If she would've just got sentenced, sentenced to more, I mean, 10 years, definitely not enough for the crime that was committed and it was also the compassion that she was shown if we would have just kind of stood our ground and not trying to be the the, the the big person all the time i feel like we we might have could have got our just due but you know it's one day just look at the facts man just do your googles do your research and look at the facts Shit is dishonorable, bro. That shit is like, <laughs> it's a fucked up situation, man. Cause I'm not cut from that cloth. Nobody I know or associated with is cut from that cloth. So I really can't understand where his mind was at, man. All I know is like that shit fucked up for the game, and that shit fucked up for the streets, bro. It's just, it's inexplicable. It's, it's, it's sickening. Fuck that shit, man. Like. That nigga sold his soul for that bread, man. Sold out a lot of people, man. Fucked up a lot of situations, man. And uh, so ain't no ain't no amount of money gonna make that no better or ease that. But I know a lot of people ain't even gonna give a fuck. They celebrating his accomplishment. I mean, in this game, I don't see why it couldn't come back. Like, I mean, like the shit. The game's so twisted and upside down. Like, I'm sure he can come back and fit right back in like he was before with slightly less antics. Yeah, he'd be fine. How, how the game going now? <laughs> Look, all I'm going to say is, <laughs> million dollars don't make your pussy no better. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Shit. That joint was good, yo. Like, that was a really, really good film. It was dark as a motherfucker. Depressing and all that shit got you on your, you brought the nigga in his dark depths. But that joint was good, man. I, it's it's too early right now, but I, I reckon it might come out as a, a, a cinematic masterpiece. That's a hard one to say, man. Like, as history can show, like, people catch influence from some weird and dark, twisted shit. You feel me? So, I would hope not, man. But, you know, like I said, that movie takes you to your dark depths. And some people might might get on that ride and never be able to get off. And then, all of a sudden, we got an issue. Next <laughs> Oh, man. God damn. Woo! I mean, it might be a little recency bias, man, but I, I, I might have to say Joaquin Phoenix. Where? I thought that was Sid. Well, shit, um, hey, man. Hey, weed legalized anywhere is a beautiful thing, man. Fire up, pass it to your boy. Hell yeah, man. But first, make sure y'all go check that Landed in Australia. Join out on Spotify, iTunes, all of that. Make sure y'all check that out and head to YouTube and fuck with the video, man. Landed in Australia, quality track. Wait for some that was a lost cause. My mind was in the grease. Thought I'd be granted just failure. But I found peace when I landed in Australia. Landed in Australia. Oh, knew it was the shit when I landed in Australia. Come on. Yeah. Landed in Australia. Oh. Yeah, I'm here now when there's nothing I can tell ya uh.
Landed in Australia. Yeah, man, it's your boy Willie Ways. Got done asking these dumb ass questions, man. But what else can I do? I fucks with Culture Sound. They fuck with me, man. All I know is I better see y'all next time. Episode three. Fuck with me. <laughs>